On the one hand, uh, we don't need an independent review to tell us that we have issues. We know we have issues, and um, we have began taking steps to, to improve and move forward. However, the independent review is important uh, in order to look into specific uh, concerns that have been arisen, uh, brought forward to identify or clarify, maybe expand on some of the things that we, that we are aware of. So um, that will begin, it's been shared with me that it will take weeks, not months. Um, no hard date on, on finishing. Um, that, that'll sort of depend on, I'm sure that will depend on where, where it heads. Uh, I'm going to move now to, uh, over the weekend, the separation agreement uh, that, was, uh, that was finalized with Chris Doyle, the head strength coach. That process began with a discussion uh, between Chris and I, and then uh, the terms were discussed over a few day period, and then finalized yesterday, on Sunday. Uh, I can tell you that uh, during this past week and a half, um, I've been doing a lot of listening and thinking about important steps to move forward. And uh, that's, that's going to be important. Um, and as part of that, I would share with you a few things. First of all, clearly there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, one of the things, as difficult as it's been, uh, I have really been encouraged and appreciated the deep and, and uh, very difficult conversations that we've been having. Um, most, uh, the one that stands out to me the most is a team meeting that occurred a week ago today. And in that team meeting, um, th there was some, some very difficult but, uh, and challenging but important conversations had. Uh, it started out like really most meetings, team meetings that I've been associated with as a student athlete or as a staff member uh, over the years, it was Kirk, talking a little bit uh, about the issues that had, uh, that had come up. And then I addressed the team with some of the issues that had come up. And then um, it, it probably would have been a, a normal meeting uh, by normal standards if it would have ended there. But thankfully, it didn't end there. Thankfully, some of the current players um, began really asking tough questions. At first, they were directed at Kirk or me, but then uh, an amazing thing happened. Then it became, they were talking to each other, student athletes, coaches, staff members, uh, and again, it was a very emotional um, and difficult meeting, but very, very important to, to getting started. Uh, so I'm grateful for the, the current student athletes that spoke up, and uh, also for the former student athletes who spoke up um, really about a, a week and a half ago. So sometime during uh, that week, as I was thinking through and, and trying to come up with next steps, I did come to the conclusion that uh, one of those steps uh, was that uh, a separation with Coach Doyle was, was the thoughtful and sensible thing to do. Uh, Kirk and I talked and, and we were both in full agreement that that was the case. And then as I mentioned earlier, I ended up speaking with Chris first and uh, we just moved through that process I can tell you this was not a decision that uh, I made lightly, and uh, it is just one piece of a plan that's, that's going to be needed for us to move forward.